Sir? Hey, sir. You can back in the driveway, okay? I just want to put that out on the street with all the kids in the house. That's all. What you got? Venga, venga, para que pagues eso. Ya, Gaby. We need a flat.
Um, if you have one, that'd be great. And then, I was going to see if you would take less on this one. What did you use it for? I'm not sure. Is it like a dog bowl or? It could be. Um, I didn't uh, yeah, have that was. Can you take two for it? How much have you got? So we got four and then. That's a dollar. Five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you. No, so. Have a good day. You too. Let me get my hands on that. There we go. Thank you. Okay, I thought it would be fun to film a segment of me doing some shipping. Uh, these orders are all uh, from you guys. They're viewer orders. And actually, this first order that I'm going to be getting together is uh, for Gwendolyn. And she had requested this video, actually. She wanted to see how I shipped and uh, what my process was. So this one's for you, Gwendolyn. Um, so these are the pretty butterfly earrings that she ordered. And these were actually in one of the mystery bags that I did. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get one of my business cards here. And I want to um, put a pair of earrings on there for her. So I like to include something free whenever you order from me. Now a lot of uh, these earrings that I'm using came from that big box of jewelry that I bought for $20 probably about a month ago. And um, they make really great uh, freebies. For my subscribers and for all of my customers as well, I always include something a uh, little bit extra. So I just purchased these. Uh, I'm probably going to chop this, but Fiskers, Fiskers, however you say that. And these are 1 16th of a punch inch right there. And I believe they cost like about $8. I got them on Amazon. But what I'm going to use it for, what I purchased it for, is to put little bitty tiny holes. Um, and my cards right here so that I can easily put the earrings in. Before I was just kind of punching them in and it was getting all messy looking, but this is gonna make a nice, uh, much nicer presentation there with the nice clean hole punches. So hopefully these will fit. If they don't, I might have to use a different pair because I don't think I've ever put this type of, yeah, these aren't gonna fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these pretty little turquoise like studs on there so I hope that you like these Gwendolyn let's see and they're like that back on it's taking me some time here to do this okay and then that's what they look like on the card all right so I'm gonna set those aside just for a second so here are the earrings and the card okay so the next thing I'd like to do is um, I like to get a bag and since she ordered the butterfly ones, I thought it'd be pretty to put it in this pretty little butterfly bag right here. So open the bag and I'm going to drop her goodies down inside. Now these bags, I've got all different colors and styles and you can purchase these at the Dollar Tree. You get like a pack of 10 of them for a dollar. Then what I like to do is I just kind of fold it down. Now 
I don't always do this, but whenever I have time, I do. So I like to give it one staple right there in the center, like that. And this is the part that I don't always do, but if I have time, I'd, I like to. So I put two little hole punches there, and then that, I'm just using a regular hole punch for this one. And I like to take some ribbon. Today I have gold or turquoise. And then I just cut it. And I like to go ahead and curl the ribbon too. So I just give it a quick little curl here. Like that. And I'll take from the back and I'll loop it through. And loop it through this side. And then I just like to tie a little knot here because it's going to look pretty no matter what the ribbon being already curled. Okay. So like that, just kind of fold it up a little. And then I like to take one of my stickers I actually got these on Amazon. So these are a heart and it says thank you. And these are just a little bit smaller and they say thank you with a heart. So I like to put one of these on the inside of the package and also on the outside. And then I'll just place that right here like that. All right now to get my box ready. So let's put those over there, set our package here. Now I'm just using a regular eBay box and this size is the six by four by four. I know I need to get me one of those tape dispensers y'all. <laughs> All my friends always tease me about it. box down like this and I like to get a piece of tissue paper push that down and then we're gonna put our package let's see right here in the center like that and I'm just gonna fold up the side oh y'all see my shirt <laughs> so let me set that back down again going to close it up. And now <clears throat> all I have left to do is to weigh this and put some postage on it. And thank you so much, Gwendolyn. I really appreciate it. Um, all of these orders uh, that you're looking at today came from my website. It's www.thriftytreasurestanya.com. If you guys like to go over there, um, a lot of the jewelry that you see me talking about in my videos or vintage items that you'll see me pick up at garage sales, they'll be available for sale over on that website. And the um, link is in the description box down below as well. Okay, our next order is going to Donna. Thank you so much, Donna. She purchased this from my website, uh, thriftytreasurestanya.com, and it's a really pretty hematite necklace with some uh, little bitty blue stones that almost look like cat's eye. Okay, so and I went ahead and I got some earrings ready for her. And this is the first time I've done it this way, but I just put the little hole punches on the bottom for the longer dangle earrings like this. So we'll put her stuff together here. Uh-oh, one popped off. Let me fix that. There we go.
Give it a little punch. I think this time let's use uh, gold. Go ahead and make it a little curly ribbon. Y'all hear Skippy barking? Give this a little tie. Our sticker right here. Like that. Okay, and now let's get our box ready. Again, we are using the six by four by four box. The free box is from eBay. Uh-oh, we just dropped my whole punch. And I did forget to get a piece of uh, tissue paper, but I'll um, need to stop the camera and go grab that real quick. And then I'll put this in and get this all shipped up for Donna. So thank you so much, Donna. I really appreciate your order. Okay, our next order is for Renee. Thank you, Renee, so much for the order. She ordered this lot of vintage cat slash pen brooches. I believe I showed this in yesterday's video as well. So we have our package ready, and we are going to send Renee this card right here with these earrings. Let's get her a bag. We will be editing that part out. Oh boy, I forgot to pick up my hole punch. Okay, so we got our hole punch. through here. Oops, I just about knocked you guys out. <laughs> Almost knocked the camera over. Okay, let's get a thank you sticker. And I already got my uh, box ready to save some time so you guys didn't have to listen to that awful, awful tape sound. So, and I got it remembered my tissue paper this time. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And I'm just going to tuck it down in the box. I guess we'll go ahead and put the tape on. Okay, and this one is ready to go for Renee. Thank you so much, Renee. I really appreciate your business. 
Okay, this next order is going to be for Ethel. Ethel ordered several different items for me that I hauled last weekend. She um, got this real pretty, I believe that's a toucan bird, stained glass, little hanging like this. And she also wanted this gorgeous party light, like a votive or a small pillar tea light holder. And it's like stained glass. And she also requested to purchase this gorgeous clear, uh, or not clear, but I always say that, don't I? Not clear, frosted glass fairy lamp. Now, I had no idea about fairy lamps until you guys told me. So now I'm always on the hunt for them. So again, I just wanna say thank you so much for educating me and schooling me. I really appreciate it whenever you guys uh, let me know what I missed and um, what to be on the lookout for. So uh, this is her order and we're gonna start getting it ready. And since order, ah, can't talk today. Since Ethel ordered so much for me, I thought we'd give her these really pretty rhinestone earrings here. Hopefully she wears pierced earrings. All right, so let's get start getting her package together. The first thing we're gonna need to do is get some stuff to secure these glass items. So let me go grab that and we'll be right back. Okay, what I like to wrap my breakables in is this plate foam. And you can actually buy a big roll of this at Walmart, I think for about like nine or $10. Um, or you can also buy it on Amazon. If I remember, I'll put a link down in the description box below. And it actually comes uh, perforated right here. So you can see like little bitty lines. So it's easy to break. And then I just like to individually wrap the pieces. So we'll go ahead and give this a good wrap. That way. And then I am going to secure it with some eBay tape because hey, it's free and why not? to do our fairy lamp. And we will do this in uh, two different sections. Now, for me, I found the best way to ship breakables is actually a box in a box method. And ever since I've started doing this, you guys, I haven't had any problems. Worse than wood to knock on. <laughs> but yeah, box in a box, it's a great method. And I also use peanuts as well. I feel like the peanuts are really good to use. They kind of keep the item suspended so it doesn't, you know, doesn't shake and rattle around inside the box. And I actually buy my peanuts at a local U-Haul, like a, a storage facility place. But I would call before you actually go to your U-Haul and ask if they carry the peanuts because not all of them do. I had to find that out the hard way. And they're super cheap. I can get a big, really big bag of them for like $6. So I'll usually buy a couple bags at a time. That's that one. Let's go ahead and wrap up our last one. This is a good little tuck for some extra protection. 
Make it nice and tight. And I am just going to use some regular tape because I'm getting lazy. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to use that one. It's got a hair on it. That's better. Okay, so I have these uh, little bitty boxes like this. I believe I got these. I actually really bought these for coffee mugs to ship coffee mugs in. But I believe they are 4x4 four four size. And I'll also try and put a link to these in the description box down below. But I think this is going to fit all of our smaller items nicely. And once I get them in these smaller boxes, I'll show you guys what the peanuts and the bigger box looks like. Okay, so this is the box I'm going to be shipping it in. It's actually a large mailing box. And it is box number seven. And it is 12 by 12 by 8. So let me get this box set up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so real quick, this is what my bag of peanuts look like. They're from U-Haul. I was trying to find the size on there, but I'm not finding it right away. But yeah, peanuts. So what I did was I put a nice little layer on the bottom there. Say hi, Coco. Hey, hey, YouTube. That's my other dog, Coco. She's a long-haired chihuahua. Okay, so then we're going to take our little bitty boxes. I have four of them that I've individually wrapped. And we're going to do the uh, box in a box method. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to set them down in here. Kind of centered in the middle as much as I can because I'm going to put some more peanuts around all around the side of them. So I don't know if I can hold this camera and pour peanuts at the same time, but I'm going to try. Hopefully they don't go all over the kitchen floor. So let's just get some in there. Notice how I didn't even have to use any bubble wrap, y'all. Okay, hang on, I gotta set this down. <laughs> okay, my bubbles down, my bubbles, good grief. My peanuts are down in there. I'm telling y'all, something about getting close to 50, your mind just, just zaps, like it just goes. But yeah, so I got my peanuts in here and I put a whole bunch on the, either side and also in the center between the packages as well, so it's nice and secure. And um, just so she doesn't uh, accidentally miss the card, I think that I am going to go ahead and just put it in a bag. Just put it down in the bag. I'm gonna give it a quick staple. And we gotta make things nice for Miss Ethel. So let's give her some ribbon. Yeah, so I was saying a second ago, I didn't even use any bubble wrap. Really, the only thing I used were the peanuts and the plate foam, and of course, the box in a box method. Okay, let's give this a quick little curl. Thank you sticker right there just like that and then we are going to put it down on the box so when she opens the box it's going to be the first thing that she sees and then i will get this uh, taped up and we are going to send that out to miss ethel so thank you so much ethel for your order um, i hope you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this segment that i've done today on shipping Again, if you'd like to purchase something, you can go to www.thriftytreasurestanya.com and I have um, vintage to modern jewelry there, 
as well as other vintage items that you've seen me pick up at garage sales. Okay, y'all, I actually had a couple more sales come through, so I wanted to share with you guys. This was a sale on Amazon that I just had. I picked this up for $4 at a garage sale last weekend, and it just sold for $39.99 on Amazon. Um, I have to give a shout out to my son's friend, Ethan, if he's watching, because his mom was having a garage sale last weekend, and he had a table of all of his stuff out there too. And my son's friend, Mason, was the one who actually told me to check this one out and scan it. So shout out to Ethan and Mason if you're watching. I appreciate it. So um, with these type of things, what I usually do is just ship them in a bubble mailer like this. And this is the number two. I buy these in bulk on eBay, um, 100 to the box. And I ship books and CDs and all types of media in here. And I literally just stick it in the package like that and seal it up. And that's all there is to those type of packages. Okay, so the next item I sold was a pair of these boots here. These are Lucky Brand boots. And I believe I bought these for $2 at a garage sale. And I put them up on auction on eBay because they weren't moving on Poshmark. I think I had them like at 40 or 50 bucks. And I don't really like to hang on to big items like this for a long time. So I just put it on auction and they sold for $21. And the same lady who bought these boots also bought these uh, measuring spoons for $10. You guys might remember uh, seeing me get these at a garage sale. So yeah, they're super cute. They're heart shaped. All of this side says um, a dash of kindness, a pinch of patience, a spoonful of laughter, and a heap of love. And then on the reverse side are their actual measurements. So it says one tablespoon, one teaspoon, half teaspoon, and it says Kate, I think Kate Aspen on there. So I don't even know if I put that in the shipping. I didn't. So this person might have got a really good deal and I have no idea. So that's what happens when you're in a hurry, you guys. You gotta pay attention. These might be worth a lot more, but that's my fault. So um, I don't know if this lady is a subscriber or not, but either way, I'm still gonna give her a little card with some earrings. So if you do happen to be a subscriber, thank you, Lisa, so much for your order. I really appreciate it. Okay. So the first thing I like to do when I am getting my shoes together is I like to put uh, a shoe in one bag. These are actually uh, bread bags that I buy at Walmart. I think they're like um, two or three dollars. They're just the twist style. And they're definitely the great value brand. I'm just gonna slide the boot in here. Now I am going to be shipping these in a medium flat rate box. I was trying to see where it said medium flat rate. Oh, here it is. So it's upside down, but you get the point. I'll be shipping them in this box right here. And those boots should fit nicely along with the measuring spoons. Okay, so we are going to put these measuring spoons inside of these fancy new cello bags that I got. They barely fit. Fold that over. Okay. And then sometimes what I like to use are these oversized envelopes that I have. So I'm going to put these down in the box as well. And here are, I'm going to give Miss Lisa a pair of nice earrings. She did spend uh, at least $30 with me. So instead of a pair of studs, I thought I'd give her a little bit of a nicer pair of earrings. And I'm actually just going to slip these down in the envelope. And we're going to pull this off to seal it. And then let's come over here and I'm just going to place that down in the very top of the box, kind of push it down a little. Oops, doesn't want to stay down. And then we are going to 
get this one filled up. Okay, you guys, so that is all of my orders going out tomorrow.